So check it out. We have a tundra all ready to go. And we have a tundra all ready to go. <laughs> what do you think, Sean? I agree. We're gonna find out now. <laughs> <laughs> you had her some spots this morning? Imagine, geez, three percent. Fantastic. Yeah. A lot easier than the expedition to drive around. Oh, that's a nice spot to hook on your thing. I never even thought about hooking on mine there. Is that there? No, it's here. Oh, yeah. I always hook mine around this. Uh, I got a bag home someplace that goes here. I got to try and find it. Oh, okay. And I got another, I got another handheld <clears throat> GPS and put it on there. Yeah. Uh, I always just put mine right on there. Right on. And I never used to oh, until yeah. until Wayne lost his key. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, we we got a uh, we got a little something to do, something I haven't done since I was a kid. So we're gonna go up and uh, give that a go, and then we're gonna go on a little adventure. Oh, coyote calls! I didn't bring them. I'll, I'll get them. They're in the branch. I'm gonna try something I haven't done since I was a kid, and I don't know if I got the right depth. I got a piece of tape, and you're probably not gonna see it, but it's down one one and a half inches. We don't get the big maples like they do on the mainland, eh? But we used to tap maples when I was young. And uh, my dad would boil up uh, the maple syrup. And uh, me and my friends, Dougie and Ronnie Cahoot, did it one year. And, and his father, uh, Doug Cahoot, uh, did it up too, you know? But, anyways, I'm, I'm going to give it a try. I haven't done this since I was a, a kid. And Dad used to mark the depth of the gauge where we would uh, drill in. So I, I don't know if I'm going to be doing this right or not. I'm going to give it a try. I'm only going to tap one tree just to see how it works. And they say you should do it about a bite. So uh, and and up on a, a slight angle. I'm going to put it right about there. Nothing's running yet. Perhaps it's too early. No, I, I really want to make sure I get that cleaned up good, eh? So, I'll go get my hammer now and cut that in. I'm a little concerned that no tap or sap is flowing yet. That went in a little too easy. That definitely went in a little too easy for my liking. I'm going to resize my bits for trying this again. You went up to the little bog, did you, Sean? Yeah, well, I went as far as your overnight stay there, your campsite. And I'm farting around, I didn't know where you were at. First time I've ever seen that done. Come on, man. I got the wrong size bit. I, I the Too big? My bit is a little too big. Oh. So this is not going to work out all, all that well, eh? Okay. But, anyways, 
This doesn't have to be tied too tight. Did you say you should see dripping as soon as you drilled the hole? Normally you see dripping. If the sap is run, you see it right away, eh? Oh, okay. But you wait for... Uh, um, you gotta be plus temperatures in the day and uh, freezing at night, eh? Okay. That gets the sap running the best. So anyway, we'll leave her there for a bit. I'll come back and check. The sun hits that and starts warming up. We'll see what, what happens. But uh, my bit was just one size too big. I'm gonna go with a quarter inch. I went with uh, 17, 30 seconds. Oh, too big. Just uh, one size too big. But what I did is I went and I seen what would fit. And in the 17, like I got a drill case that it shows all the yep. different sizes. And it wouldn't go all the way down in the 17, 16. So it might have been my drilling too with Your the technique. hand drill. Yeah. It could have been my technique that... that yeah. uh, if you had a cordless drill, it would be a cleaner, straighter hole. If I had, if I, my yeah. cordless drill wasn't charged, it's, yeah. it's down on the battery charger now. And if I would have used that, it might be the perfect. So yeah. maybe it's not uh, an error in bit size. Maybe it's a, an, an error, error in uh, technique. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, okay. we'll give that a go. And the sun's coming out, so. <sighs> Something I haven't done since I was a kid. I never did see it done. First time I've ever seen it. Well, it's not very popular in Newfoundland because we don't got big ma maple trees, right? And uh, I think uh, in order to actually be tapping a, uh, a maple tree on the, on the mainland, they, they wait for the trees to be something like, I don't know, 14 or 16 inches in diameter. Oh, jeez. Right? That's a, that's a but but we, we're not going to see that here. No. But we used to tap tr maple trees like that. Yeah. And like those over there, you know? Yeah. And, uh, but anyway, yeah. we'll see. We'll see what happens. See what happens. Is either going to work? Or it's not. So I got some cape on. Yes, fry. We're going to go on a, a fry. I hate to have my uh, binoculars. You got binoculars with you? I got them in the back. In the back. Oh, do you? I put mine in there. Charlie, I'll tell you. I wonder should I take mine off and put it in there? Because I find it so, uh, it's, it's in the way. It's tight, like, eh? Yeah. But nice to have them there. Nice to have them there at the ready. Yeah. Well, I got well, nothing's going to bounce around too much, and we're not going to be tearing up the, the place. You so. can put them inside my pack as a, as a bag. It won't, it won't move there. Oh, sh should be good. I'm going to put it right Oh, yeah. We're not going to do it. Oh, yeah. Outside. You're good to go there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take our time. Yeah. The They're sitting on top of the snowshoes and everything right there. That's all good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Time, time to sock it to you guys. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Hey. Nice stay on the trail. Oh, wicked. Yeah. We just uh, got a fire going, and there's some uh, roasted cape or uh, dried capelin. Smoke. Oh yeah. Got the kettle there. Sean, I think we're gonna get that grate over there now. Get this on door. We'll get the snow off of that, that's gonna you know Francis um all right, buddy. Good seeing you. Good seeing you too. I'm trying to call you tomorrow for your birthday. See you, buddy. Later, buddy. Have a good one. You too. Your birthday tomorrow? My birthday tomorrow, yeah. Wow, happy birthday, sir. Thank you. Wow, I didn't know that. Oh, geez. Forgot to do a, a little shout out there to uh, Jonathan Styles and uh, the Newfoundland Knife Company. This is a big boy silky saw. This is a 360 medium tooth. Phenomenal uh, saw. Sean, what do you got going on over there? There you go, buddy. And yes, this please. is something brand new he's got in. 330. It's a 330 and it's called the Silky Gunfighter. Hey? 
So, uh, if you're in the in market for a new saw, a good saw, high quality saw, go down to GNR Recreation Seed, uh, Jonathan Styles, or uh, I guess you can look them up on the Newfoundland Life Company, place an order, and if you use the discount code NLGHOST10, you'll get 10% off your next uh, purchase with the Jonathan Styles. There you go, buddy. Beautiful knife. Yeah, beautiful knife. it works really well. Really, 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 really well. Look at that, look at that. As light, easy to carry. Yeah. I'll throw a little bit of Caitlin on there, uh, on the outer edges there. Sean. Oh, sounds good. Uh, my buddy Bertram, Bert, Bertram Joshua uh, did these up. I think uh, some of these got molasses onto it. Salt and molasses. <laughs> and you know what I forgot? Did you show him the case as well, Lost? Oh, yeah. A little handy case fits onto your belt. Beautiful little case. Yeah. Hard case. Nice. Yeah. Sometimes if someone says your hair case is not a good thing, but in this case, it's a good case. <laughs> Throw some on there for now, anyways. Da, 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 da. The snow is going, my buddy. The snow is melting fast. Unbelievable how fast. Look how dirty I got. Oh, oh, oh. You picked this pamphlet anyways. <laughs> That's me kneeling down in that mud, look. <laughs> Is it going to boil? I don't know. Nice little, uh, nice little rack touch, right? Oh, perfect, yeah. Oh, Christmas, man. I'm getting the one that all folds up now. And you build your fire right into it. It unfolds. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see that. My son. Now, I think that's the answer. Yes, because you always got your poles to work with. The fellers, the fellers that got that going, I already got that. They're tinking. They're ahead of the game. Yeah. Ouch. Big orange flames, hot. Woo! Woo! Smoky. Who needed eyebrows? This is your attachment for your GoPro, is it? That's the attachment for the GoPro there, yeah. Oh. Geez, I uh, actually got the right attachment to put it on there, too. Jeez. Might have to get you uh, leading the way back. Yeah, awesome. I'll get some shots. Yes, sir. Ta Ooh, come back here, little Caplin. Oh, my gosh, that's hard. <laughs> Jeez, way. The flame comes to life pretty good. Now, see, next time we come, I'm bring my uh, lawn chairs. Lori and I always bring our lawn chairs. One fork? I got a fork there. Do you? Yes. I found it in, I found it in the bag. Found it. Back found these it. off the fire a little bit. They're starting to get done too fast. I found a mug. Come on back there, Mr. Cavelin. I found a fork. Well, you know what? There's, there's got to be two in there because last time you and I were out, I took some Vienna sausages. I must have taken a couple forks. Oh. Newfoundland chopsticks. Newfoundland chopsticks. No. Jeez, I smell Holy Christmas, that didn't cook fast. Wicked, wow. eh? Awesome. No good deal. Uh, I think it sticks about it. Yeah. Hey, Sean. Yeah, that one there had to roll into it. Hmm. You had to fire like that. And here was Francis. He was holding pot over here. <laughs> about four miles away. I got more people in there too. I told you somebody cut down my first tree stand, didn't I? Yeah, you said, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. 
Hard to have anything uh, good now, uh, unless you're there watching it 24-7. Yeah, I don't know what to get out of that. Some of them are already done there, Sean, I'd say. Yeah. Getting a little crispy. And that's high mash right over, right over there. This brook right here, between high mash and uh, Juniper Bog, believe it or not, that's Gatto's Brook. That's the one that separates Stephenville and Kippens. Gatto's Brook. And where this brook comes out from underneath that mountain, where it bubbles out of the ground over there, if you bend down to take a drink, it's gonna be so cold, it's gonna hurt your teeth. I can guarantee you. And I love drinking up there. Want a cabling? What? Cabling? Uh, no thanks, no. No, I just stopped for a break. Uh, oh, nice freaking day. I know. Beautiful, eh? Man, the snow was starting to get rotten, though. Oh, bad. Man, Going fast. Back there, like a left of Kippen says, uh, yeah. It came. That's the fire she's on. Yeah, nice cup of tea and a nice roast of Caitlin. And now, time to get ready to. Pack her in. But the snow is all gone pebbly. Oh, salty. Salty, salty. Yeah. <laughs> so they're going to come along and say, holy jeez, look at this. I'd use a cape with salty, hey? Oh, buddy. <laughs> Don't need to have any salt now. Mm -mm. Smoke and snow, huh? Yes, there you go. So what do you think of the sauce? Works good, eh? The sauce? Yeah. Oh yeah, buddy. Nothing wrong with those. But the trail, the trail's getting rotten here. Holy, the snow is all, all crystally, eh? And uh, when you step into the side of it, she got that shade of blue, and when it hits that, I tell you, the, the chemical composition of the snow changes big time, and it's gone now within no time flat. She. The gun's gone. And Sean just got a brand new sled. New for him, anyways. Yes, new for me. So easy to handle. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Did you have her in her spot today? <laughs> I give her a little go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, better get the bumpers on her. Well, that's what I got her for, picking through the snow. Yeah, oh yeah. Narrow. Narrow, for good for picking through the trees and oh. stuff, but now the snow is so rotten. Oh, oh, oh. oh. We were down by my grandfather's camp and Sean was down, he went right down over the hill there and he, he got to a spot where there's nothing, nothing beneath the snow, there was no bottom to the snow. He, he said, I'm stuck. I said, you're not stuck, you got a tundra. With yeah. daddy, put her on the side a little bit and woof, up over the Tuckamores and away he went. Back okay. on the ground. Easy hand to lay. Oh my God, my, my other one's so freaking heavy. Yeah. Jesus, All right, I'll pack up my uh, camera here and uh, We'll get ready to go.